All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, in this video, we're going to be in Photoshop the whole time. Uh, I'm going to go over uh, just some basic Photoshop stuff so we can get a, a texture painted on our ship. Uh, and then next time, we'll get it uh, back into Maya and applied to our ship so we can see all the awesome work that we've done. Uh, so just a quick refresher, uh, I in my UV layer, I had reversed the UVs uh, by hitting Command I. Uh, this is what it looked like when we opened up our UVs. Uh, so Command I will reverse those. Uh, so it looks like something that we can color on. Uh, and I set the blending mode here uh, to multiply for that layer. So on my, I, I rename this. Uh, so my UVs layer, I change the blending mode to multiply. And then I made another layer and drug it below that layer, so then when we color on this, uh, I'll get another color real fast, uh, then when I paint on this, uh, you can actually see that uh, that goes under those lines, so I can paint behind those lines. Um, so a couple things, uh, so I'm on my brush tool right now, that's right there. The keyboard shortcut is B, and if you leave your mouse on these, uh, they'll pop up with their name and then the keyboard shortcut. Uh, if you look right there, there uh, any of these tools that have this little triangle at the bottom right-hand corner, uh, that means there's other tools underneath that. Uh, and for this, we're not really going to get too much into it, but I just want to show you that it's there. Uh, so if you click and hold on these, then they pop up and you can see all the other things that they have. Um, and notice that they all say, like for the brush tool, these are all keyboard shortcut B. Uh, to cycle through those, it would be, you, you'd hit B to get to this section and then press Shift B uh, to cycle through all these tools. Uh, the other one that's going to be important is the eraser. Uh, that's keyboard shortcut E, right there. Uh, and then if we do any selections, um, there is the magic wand tool, which actually is under the quick selection tool. Uh, I I go back and forth between these. Um, so that's W, uh, and then there's the lasso, which is L, all the different lasso tools. Um, and maybe if you just want to select everything and delete it, uh, there's the rectangular marquee tool, which is M. Uh, all these different keyboard shortcut tools, or keyboard shortcuts. Uh, so now, what I can do is I can a color underneath, um, or I, I basically color outside of the lines uh, for my UVs. Uh, so I'm going to come down here to my color picker, and this is a foreground and a background color. So this one right here, the one on top, is the one that you'll actually paint with. Uh, you can set uh, a background color, and if you press X on your keyboard, that's what this swap, these arrows is. Uh, to swap your foreground and your background color. Um, and the keyboard shortcut for that is X. Uh, so you can have two, uh, two colors readily available to you. And so if you click in there, um, like you saw before, this big color picker shows up. And right now we're on uh, the hue uh, color picker. So up and down here in this vertical box are all the colors. And then uh, saturation goes uh, from left to right, and brightness goes up and down. Uh, so up here in the top right hand corner of this is the fully saturated least bright, or sorry, least valued, like the it's the pure hue right there. Uh, so a top left is no saturation, so it goes to white and then bottom is all the way black. It's the values all the way down, saturation's all the way down. Um, so everything in between here is uh, a mix of colors. Uh, and you can just click and drag, pick one. Um, and let's see, what color do I want mine? We are the Hawks. So I'm gonna make a green ship. That's about our color. Close enough, so I'll click OK. And then with my brush tool, uh, I can start painting. Uh, if you right click, if I right click, there we go, um, there's a couple different properties of the brush that we can do. Uh, so right now my size is 93 pixels, and that's about that big. 
uh, the hardness is zero, which means when I click, uh, I have a very soft edge around that. Uh, to contrast, if I put the hardness all the way up to 100 and I just click, there's a very hard edge. Um, kind of pick however you want. You can always go back and change it just by right clicking. Um, I think I want a hard brush for this. Uh, to to kind of change your the brush size on the fly as you may need to because this may come in very very small. Instead of right clicking every time and trying to choose the size. Uh, the left and right brackets, like the square brackets, uh, those two keys to the right of the P key, pre, P as in print, uh, those will let you change your brush size just as you go. And I'm holding these down as they go bigger and smaller. So the right one goes bigger, the left one goes smaller, and then that's pretty much good for me. I can start coloring this stuff in. Uh, like I said earlier, we're coloring outside the lines. Um, we're doing that uh, because we don't want um, sorry, talking and painting at the same time are actually kind of hard. Um, we don't want to try to get right up to that edge. Uh, anything outside of these lines won't show up. Um, so I can write secret messages out on the side of my textures and have fun with people that way. Uh, and, and nobody will see it until they get a hold of your actual texture. I'm trying to remember what all this is since the last video. Uh, I know this stuff is... I think that might be my engine. and I'm going to recolor that. Uh, these are my guns, so they'll be a different color. Uh, so there, I'm just I, I am just laying out base colors. My guns can be gray, and I'm going to zoom in. Uh, to zoom in, it's Command Plus, and to zoom out, it's Command Minus. And if you want to go back to uh, showing the whole image on the screen, it's Command Zero. And that zooms out there. And to to pan around like this, I'm just holding the space bar. So I'm going to zoom out there. Okay, so there's... I'm trying to remember everything that I had. Uh, I'm currently using a tablet. Uh, a, a graphics tablet to paint this, which is why my brush size is changing based on how hard I'm pressing. Which is very cool. If you would like to borrow one of these tablets, you are more than welcome to. Uh, I'm going to hold Alt to get to my color picker. Because I needed to... Get that. Let me bring my brush smaller. Let me just fill that in real fast. Some of these UV lines get really close together. It gets hard to to see what's happening. Uh, let's do a nice kind of blue glass color for my for my cockpit here. So I'll zoom in more. So I don't want that blue to be showing up in my in my machine gun. So I just very carefully oop, kick that back. Uh, something else to know is that uh, if you are if you're trying to undo something, whoops, like that, uh, if you did multiple things, so say I accidentally painted blue a number of times, if I hit Command Z, okay, that un undoes that. But if I hit Command Z again it comes back. What the heck's up with that? If I just keep hitting Command Z, it only goes back and forward once. Uh, so I can un Command Z undo undoes and then it re undoes and then redoes the last option. If you want to go further back uh, to step backward, it's Command Alt Z, I believe. Yeah, those are all right there next to each other. Um, they do that because um, Photoshop is primarily like it's really supposed to be for editing photos and things like that. Uh, so there's a lot of um, it's a lot of times where you'll want to see 
kind of what, what the effect of what you just did had, and so you'll undo and redo a lot. So that's why that's that way. All right, so there's my base colors. Um, I could go ahead and just apply this, but I don't want to uh, because we want to get into some of the cooler stuff that we can do uh, in Photoshop. Um, and that means uh, we need to add in like some values and some scratches um, and really just something. Uh, we want to add something to our texture uh, so that it's not just something that we could have done by assigning uh, a particular color to a face, which is essentially what I've done right now. Uh, so that's kind of lame. Uh, so what I can do is, this is my engine I'm remembering, so I'm going to make this gray. Again, I want to go just outside these lines, but not quite to that one. These UVs are very close together. makes that hard. So something like, oh if I got, say my ship got shot by something. But I'm still going around because I'm crazy space cowboy. Something like that. I don't know. I don't have the money to fix my ship right now. So I can do something like, we can have some scorch marks. Uh, to achieve this, I I'm going to, uh, what I turned on here was uh, the opacity will change as my pressure goes. Uh, so if I touch very lightly, uh, it just barely shows up. And if I press harder, then it'll uh, show darker. And so what I want to do is I'm going to lightly Add in kind of a scuff there. And then to add like the actual bullet hole, I'll go ahead and change this back to black. And I'll just come in with my mouse, make this a little smaller, and I'll just click there. Click. Uh, maybe a little more. A little bit bigger. So we can see that that's, that's there. Now that's something very, very small and just a small idea. Uh, something else I could do is uh, add in some. Oh, like those little warning labels that are next to cockpits. I don't want to go ahead and make that yellow. Um, let me turn this back off. So what I can do is try to make this straight. Sometimes it's easier to make a new layer. And then I'm going to do something a little more advanced. I'm going to make a, a marquee like this. I'm going to fill this in. I'll just use my brush tool. See the cool thing about selections is uh, you can't paint anything outside of that selection. So I'll go ahead and deselect that. Command D. Uh, and I'm going to use my tr free transform tool. Command T. And I'm going to uh, move this into position and rotate it around. I can even resize it a little bit. All kinds of stuff you can do. I'm holding shift uh, to constrain my proportions. I can do something like that. Uh, and then I guess it's kind of in black lettering. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, rotate my view around. Uh, the keyboard shortcut for this is R. There you go. It's down here. And that will. Uh, the rotate view tool. And if I click and drag here, I can actually just, it's almost like rotating my paper. Then with my brush, I can get a very small brush and I can kind of, kind of squiggle in some, some writing that would be here. It says, I don't know what they say, but don't step here. Caution when you eject this blows off very hard whatever they say on the side of ships or uh, airplanes and stuff and I'm just gonna reset my view again so it's back up to the top then
Uh, I think that's enough. Uh, so when we go to save this, and I, I'll, I'll go back in and add a whole lot more to this. Um, before we save this, uh, I want to uh, hide uh, this UV layer. Uh, because if we save this and we apply it to our ship as it is, all of these lines will show up on the ship, and that's not something we want. So I'm just going to poke this thing in the eye, right there, so it goes away. And then I can save this. Uh, I'm actually going to do File Save As. I had to save this the last time. And once you turn that off, then you can see kind of some extra stuff. I'm like, sorry, cancel this, because I saw, like, hey, I, I missed a spot here. So make sure you go to the right layer, get my brush tool, size this up, get the right color, and I can fill that in. You can see kind of all the little mistakes that you may have made by turning off that layer. Uh, double check in. Okay, that all looks pretty good. I uh, still want that off. So I'm going to save this and make sure that this goes into your source images folder. Uh, let's save it. We can leave it as a PSD. Maya can handle that. Um, and this is going to be my spaceship. Uh, I'm going to name it the color because that's the channel that we're going to put it into in Maya and we'll talk about that more in the next video. Uh, so I'll go ahead and save that. Click OK. It'll say that it's saving. And that should be it. Um, so try to do some interesting stuff here. Um, we got spaceships, we got guns, um, scorch marks, carbon marking on your guns, all, all shooting all that plasma out of there. I'm sure it is kind of dirty. Uh, maybe try to make like a dent or something in using your values uh, just something to, to add I don't know, some character to your ship alright uh, in the next video we're going to apply this texture to our spaceship in back in Maya see you then